Hey guys, it's Troy. Quick tip today, don't do peacocking, right? So back in the day when dating advice, when game advice first became mainstream, let's say, there was this concept called peacocking. It was described in the book The Game by Neil Strauss, which came out in 2005 and concerned mystery and Tyler Durden and these other uh, people who were learning about this stuff and teaching it in Los Angeles, uh, as well as other places in the world. And there was this concept called peacocking. And the idea of peacocking was essentially that you would dress up in a fairly flamboyant or outrageous manner in order to make yourself noticeable, in order to be attractive and to attract members of the opposite sex. Now, this concept was actually pretty short-lived and fairly quickly people started to, uh, to, to reject it and turn their backs on it. So it sort of worked in nightclubs for a while and you would get guys going around wearing like big cowboy hats and feather boas and flashing LED black belts and T-shirts with flashing like uh, messages on them and all this kind of thing. And it, it kind of it kind of worked in a sense. It would get attention, but it was a very superficial kind of attention. It's like going to a party wearing fancy dress when it's not a fancy dress party, you know. Or it's like being on a stag do, you know, like a bachelor party. And you guys go out and you're all wearing fancy dress. And yes, you're going to get attention. And yes, that attention can sometimes lead in a, a, a favorable direction. But it's kind of not really what you want to do, right? That's kind of not where you want to be. You want to be cool, okay? And the thing about peacocking is that ultimately, really, it's fancy dress. And what you want to do instead is you want to practice radical differentiation. Now, I teach this in the fashion presentation that I put together. It's on this YouTube channel. You can find it. I did it a week or so ago. Uh, and I've just taught it in a seminar with some of the guys on Cat Academy. So what you really want to aim for is, yes, you want to make an impression. Yes, you want to stand out. Yes, you want to radically differentiate yourself from the crowd. But you need to do it in a way that's congruent with yourself, with what you're all about, you know? And as a very quick whistle-stop tour of what I teach in, the, in that seminar, um, you need to drill down into yourself. You need to think, okay, so what kind of person am I? What kind of archetype do I want to put across? You know, am I a Wall Street type, Wolf of Wall Street sort of dude wearing a sharp pinstripe suit, expensive shirt, etc., etc.? Do I want to go for a biker look? Do I want to go for like a rock star look? You know, what am I trying to, to say? And then, and, and, and what is congruent with me as well? What can I get away with? What can I pull off? What is going to look, you know, what am I going to be able to, to be convincing when I'm wearing right? So you want to think about all of those things, honestly. And then when you've come up with the, the kinds of looks that you want to create, then you want to just lean into it. You want to take it a bit further than your normal comfort zone. Because the thing that I think a lot of guys do with style is they kind of get stuck in their comfort zone. So, you know, Guys can dress up smartly to go for work. To work, for example, I mean, we don't tend to wear suits as much these days. But you know, you certainly still sometimes guys will put on a nice suit and they'll look cool. But they don't want to take it to that next level. They don't look at things like pocket squares. They don't look at things like um, you know fancy ties with cool different patterns on. They don't look necessarily at waistcoats. Um, you know, they don't look at like different colored shirts or sort of having an interesting combination between the shirt and the tie. You know, you want to go for contrast. You want, and you want to look at details like those accessories that I mentioned, like like the cufflinks, uh, like things like um, you know, cool watches, um, things like pocket squares, all of those sorts of things that just enliven the outfit, that just take it to another level. You know, you need to be looking for things all the time that create contrast and create interest. Okay. And you want to be doing that rather than going for a full-on sort of peacocking effect, which is something slightly different. So little details make all the difference. So maybe you can get some like little bangles to wear on your wrist. Maybe you can get like a ring or a couple of, you know, a couple of rings or something to wear. It, it, you don't need to take it to this pantomime level. You just want to take it so far that people will notice and people will be a little bit intrigued and they'll think this guy's got something going on with him, right? Because the very worst place that you can be is in that kind of beige middle where it looks like you put your outfit together 
on a shopping trip to Walmart back in 2007 and you haven't really bought anything new since. So anything that's unstructured, anything that's very normy, very safe, um, is, is probably perfectly serviceable as an item of clothing, but it's not going to get you very far. It's not saying anything about you. You know, Everything you wear, you want it to communicate something about you. You want it to make a statement okay, that people can hang on to. And it doesn't matter so much what genre of clothing you're in, what sort of archetype you're going for. It just matters that you lean in and you take some risks and you, you, you know, you're not afraid to own it. Okay. So, you know, as I say, there's more to learn about this in the fashion presentation, which you can find on the channel. And I'm, I'm keen to, to do more uh, content on this if people are interested. But, you know, when you are thinking about what to wear when you go out, you've got to bear in mind that clothing really represents the very first opportunity that people have. To, to get an understanding of what you're all about as a person. So you don't want to squander that, right? Um, you know, you, you want to make a, a, a bold statement. You want to be noticeable. You'll be remembered. And women pick up on this stuff 100%, right? I mean, there's, there is absolutely no doubt that the more stylishly you're dressed and the more you're able to communicate something about yourself through your clothes, the more that you look like, you know, maybe you're a put, well put together guy, Maybe you are somebody who's a bit edgy. You know, you've, you've got that sort of self-care, that level of self-care that will encourage you to, to go for different accessories and to try out different styles and things. That is hugely attractive, right? And you can really amp up things like the, the, like the, the so-called bad boy image with what you wear. So there's so much that clothes communicate. And you really need to spend some time thinking about it. But just don't fall into this pantomime trap of just going for fancy dress wear you know because it's just it's just not going to work it's a very outdated concept and it doesn't really work very well other than in a very sort of low level way so you know you want to be thinking about longer term what is the kind of what kind of outfits do I want to wear what kind of look do I want to create and how can I make that interesting how can I make that exciting in the presentation I talk about fit form and flourish the most important thing about clothes is the fit do they fit well, right? In the shoulders, tapered to the to the chest, to the torso, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, are, are the trousers too baggy? All these kinds of things. Make sure it fits well. Then you've got to think about form. What's it constructed of? Is it good quality material? Is it well made, et cetera, et cetera. And then you want to think about flourish. Those little touches of flourish that make an outfit just a little bit more interesting than it would otherwise have been. Little details, you know, patterning, stitching, embroidery, um, cool kind of like the way that the, the item of clothing is cut all of these little things such a huge difference details 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 so important and details are much more effective than making a big splash by wearing a cowboy hat or something like that anyway i'm going to leave it there for now renegade dating blueprint is still 39 dollars today 11 books by me about dating and all of this wonderful stuff uh, on the link below. The price is going up on Friday, the 15th of May, 2020. So um, if you want to get it, get in there now. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that's it for me for now. I will leave it there, but we will speak again very soon. Bye-bye.